There's a few different advantages and disadvantages each of a dead stop deadlift versus a touch and go. A dead stop meaning on a set of deadlifts where you're doing multiple reps, between each rep, you are releasing the tension from the bar completely, maintaining your grip on it, but releasing the tension and then doing your next rep. Touch and go would mean lowering the bar generally slower, more controlled. As soon as the weights touch the floor, immediately starting to come back up again. That would be touch and go. Each has its advantages. I do prefer and recommend dead stop. The reason we're training deadlifts and the reason they're such a unique lift is because it requires you to lift the bar from a dead stop. So the dead stop is gonna be more specific to improving your deadlift. If you get used to doing touch and go deadlifts, a lot of times the second and third rep will be easier than the first because you're creating that compressed spring feeling on the way down where you're loading your body, you're loading the bar with tension on the way down. And a lot of times the second and third rep will be easier, which isn't necessarily a good thing, especially if you're training for a maximum strength of one lift. The other thing you can do is give the lifter an exaggerated thought of what their one rep max might be because you could do three reps on a touch and go deadlift of something that might only be able to do for one or one and a half reps dead stop. So if you're using a projected max calculator and you plug in, you can do 500 pounds for three reps, you're going to get an exaggerated number for, for what you really can deadlift for one rep. But the touch and go does have advantages and it's not all bad all the time. One thing it is great for is developing and training your body with that bottom start position with maximal tension should look and feel like. So you can video yourself from different angles doing a set of two or three reps touch and go and you can stop that video at the very, very bottom position before your second or third rep and you will see how perfect your starting position is there compared to your first rep. And that's because as you're lowering that bar, you're creating that tension in your body, you're, you're lowering it in a perfectly advantageous position where instinctually you know you need to do another rep and instinctually at the start of that second or third rep, you're gonna be in the most prime perfect position. So by videoing yourself, you can look and see exactly what your body looks like to start that second or third rep, compare it to that first rep and figure out how do you get that second and third rep now to look like your first rep all the time. And I guarantee you what it's gonna come down to is learning to create that tremendous tension in your start position.